Hi guys, it's your boy Emmanuel, a uh, general practitioner in the United Kingdom. And I want to illustrate a few things about how to interpret you know, data or information on a forest plot. This video is targeted to GP trainees who are preparing for the Applied Knowledge Tests, the AKT um, you know, assessment uh, in GP training. So I'll share my screen. Just bear with me. So as you can see, this is a forest plot. And if you look at the bottom, I've actually written down the source of this, this chart. Um, I got it from Wikipedia. So that's the reference at the bottom. Uh, so this is a forest plot. That's what, so that was the name of this chart. So if you're AKT, if you're asked, uh, if you're asked to identify you know, a chart like this, it's a forest plot. Now, what was a forest plot used for essentially? A forest plot is used in meta-analysis. And what was a meta-analysis? Simply an analysis of different studies. If you look at this chart, let's get my laser pointer. So if you look at this chart, you can see here we have, we've got five studies. So five studies that were done individually have now been analyzed together. So this is a meta-analysis. Um, and the essence of this study is to bring all these five studies together to see if there is actually a statistical significance in whatever these studies we're trying to find out. So usually there will be something like an observation and an outcome. So study the study by Smith, Smith et al. in 1991 conducted this, you know, carried out the study to see if there was any association a statistical significant association between an exposure and an outcome. Same thing happened in the study done by Jones et al., Smith et al., 1999, NG et al., and Chu et al., 2009. Okay, so they individually carried out their studies to check the association between an exposure and an outcome, maybe smoking and lung cancer, for instance. And now each of them have their own results, their conclusions. The observations and now we brought all of them together to do further studies on all of them as a meta-analysis okay now let's go through this let's break this let's break these charts these forest plots you know into bits and explain what each of them means so we've talked about the individual studies we've named those ones now for smith et al 1991 this is their study. This line, this line, horizontal line that goes through, okay, this horizontal line that goes through is the confidence interval at 95%. So 95% confidence interval is also represented here. So this is the lower limit of the confidence at 0.5 and then there's upper limit 2.6. So this is this, at this point, this point here is 2.6. And if you trace this point down, you can see there's somewhere roughly there, 2.6. This other negative point there is the lower limit of the 95th um, or the 95% confidence interval. If you trace it down there, it takes you somewhere there. that's like 0 0.5. And you can do the same thing. So these are the confidence intervals at 95%, all of these in the bracket. These other values here are the odds ratio. So all this 1.3, these are the odds ratio. And these are the odds ratio as well on the x-axis of these forest plots, okay, OR is odds ratio. Odds ratio simply means the likelihood that, you know, um, is a re odds ratio is a ratio of two odds. So what's the odds? The odds that a, a, a person would develop, the likelihood or the odds that a person would develop lung cancer if they are exposed to cigarette smoking versus the likelihood that they, will develop, that they will develop lung cancer if they are not exposed to cigarette smoking. So that's what odds ratio essentially means. So it's a ratio of two odds. Okay, and on the x-axis, so in the exam, you might say, okay, what's, what, does, what do the values on the, on the x-axis represent? So odds ratio, these are the studies. The ones inside the parenthesis are the confidence interval at 95%, same as this horizontal line. So the horizontal line is the confidence interval. The end of the horizontal line are the positive points there is the upper limit of the 95 percent confidence interval the end of this horizontal line on the negative side or the you know left ward there or same as there or same as there you know 
those are the lower limits of the 95% confidence interval. So we've talked about that. Now let's go, what are these squares, these boxes? You can see a box there and you can see another box there. You can see this large box. These boxes represent the individual studies, the sample size, okay? And so, the, so it's well, it could represent sample size, but essentially it represents the, the weight of each study. Okay, what does weight simply mean? When it says this particular study carries weight or has weight, it means it's reliable, okay? It's so, it has substance, essentially. And things that can easily, things that can influence, you know, some um, the, the reliability or the weight of a study are sample size. So obviously, the more, the more people that are sampled, the more thorough that's, that particular study has been carried out, the more thoroughly it's been carried out, you know, so it has more weight. So a study, the study carried out by Chu et al. has a large box, has the largest box, means it has the highest weight. So in the AKT, they might ask you, which study has the highest weight? It's definitely the one with the largest box, that's true at all. Which study has the least weight? It, it looks like it's Smith at all, 1999, or Jones at all, they look equal sized. So I ask you which one has the, you know, the, the, the highest weight, so it's true at all. Um, so pay attention to the fact that the size of the box represents the weight, okay, which is usually related to the, the sample size, uh, it would also be related to 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 the amount of statistical tools how thoroughly you know the, the number of statistical tools that were used in that particular study how thoroughly that study was analyzed also contributes to the weight of that study now something else we can see here a uh, summary measure it's already been labeled a summary measure but is this diamond so this diamond what does it represent there's a video i made actually akt how to ace your akt Maybe I think last year or two years ago, you know. So this diamond represents a collection or a collation or a summary, as as Wikipedia has mentioned, has called it, the summary of all these five studies. So very soon we'll talk about whether it's that, whether there's statistical significance or not. But this diamond is a summary, you know, or a summarization or putting together of those five studies. The end point, the summary of all of them, is the diamond. Now, the width of the diamond from here to here is the confidence interval of all these five studies put together, which is the meta-analysis at the end of the day, okay? So this, the end points, the, the confidence interval of the meta-analysis of these five studies. So the lower point here is 1.9. If you trace it down it's somewhere there, close to 2.0. This one is 2.4. If you trace it down there, it's 2.4 roughly there. Um, yeah. So that's that's the confidence interval. This they can ask you this in the exam. They can say, okay, what does the diamond? What do the horizontal width of the diamond represent? Is the confidence interval? Um, now another thing you need to pay attention to in a forest plot are the, this line. You see this thick line, this line that goes through 1.0 odds ratio. Um, this dotted line may or may not be presented to you, but you see this line that goes through the odds ratio of 1.0 is the line of no effect. That's what it's called, the line of no effect. What does that mean? As the name connotes, as the name actually indicates, line of no effect means at, is that is that point, that odds ratio of 1.0 is the odds ratio at which there is really no statistical difference between exposure or statistical relationship between exposure and an outcome cigarette smoking and lung cancer for instance what that means is that if someone who if, for instance if if it, you know whatever happens whatever association is found between cigarette smoking and smoking, then it's likely purely purely down to chance and how do you interpret that the akt exam might ask you the exam they might ask you which studies they might say which studies have statistical significance or which studies Look, list them out different options a b c d e which studies do not have statistical significance now how do we interpret this from this chart any study whose line line or box as long as any component of that study touches or crosses touches or crosses the odds ratio of 1.0 
which is a line of no effect, there is no statistical significance. So let's look at that. Smith et al. 1991, Jones et al. 1993, Smith et al. 1999. My Jones et al. touches, the lower point touches, it's just on the line of no effect. So there's no statistical significance between whatever of whatever the exposure was and the outcome. For instance, cigarette smoking and lung cancer. Okay. Smith et al. 1991 definitely touches and crosses. So there's no statistical significance. Smith et al. 1999 crosses, touches and crosses. There's no statistical significance. NG et al. does not touch or cross the line of no effect. So there's, there is a statistical significance in this study. Chu et al. 2009 does not touch or cross the line of no effect. So there is a statistical significance in the study conducted by Chu et al. That was what they reached, the conclusion they reached. Okay. Now the diamond, which is the summation or the summary or the overall of these five studies, now shows that there is statistical significance because the diamond does not touch or cross the line of no effect. Okay, no part of this diamond. Let's assume the diamond was here, like this. There would have been statistical significance. Let's assume the diamond was like this. There will be statistical. There will be no statistical significance if it touches or crosses. But because this diamond does not touch the line of no effect, there is statistical significance. Which means if the exposure was cigarette smoking and the outcome that was being investigated or studied was lung cancer. From all of these studies, the meta-analysis now reaches a conclusion that there's a significant association between cigarette smoking and lung cancer. Which means any association between cigarette smoking and lung cancer cannot be put down to chance alone. It's very likely an association. Or a correlation okay so that's what this is actually how to interpret a forest plot it's usually a practical application the questions in the AKT are usually practical so they will not just tell you identify you know different parts to ask you questions like which studies do not have statistical significance and all of that and then we'll say the you know do not ask questions like you know the total uh, meta-analysis or the conclusion of this study shows that there is a statistical significance that may be option A, that there is no statistical significance that may be option B, and we'll give you some other options. So as long as the diamond doesn't touch this line of no effect, that is there is statistical significance. Now this dotted vertical line may be added or may not be added. Is the line is the is the point of focus, the line of focus. What it simply does is just it just goes through it's a line that goes through the middle of this diamond, okay? So that's such that you can compare, it just helps you compare quickly this study versus the total. So it may or may not be present, but it's called the line of focus or line of interest. Uh, but the one most important line is this line that goes through the 1.0 odds ratio, okay? Another thing you need to know is that an odds ratio of 1.0 is another way the question can come. An odds ratio of 1.0 means A, there is statistical significance, B, there is no statistical significance, you know. Um, so it means an odds ratio of 1.0 means there's no statistical significance, which is, which which can also be uh, you know described as whatever association exists or is identified between exposure and outcome happens very likely purely due to chance. Anything above 1.0 of odds, odds ratio is this statistical significance. Anything below the odds ratio of 1.0 is also a statistical significance. Okay, so positive or negative, you know, um, impact, but statistical significance. 1.0, no statistical significance. So I hope this video has really helped to clarify you know, what a forest plot looks like, as well as interpreting, you know, or explaining the different components of a forest plot, the odds ratio, you know, the confidence intervals and everything. So if you found this video helpful, you prefer for AKT, you found it helpful, don't watch alone, okay? Share this with your colleagues um, so that all of you can pass and do very well in your AKT. 
I'll do another video explaining or breaking down um, a funnel plot. So this is a forest plot. I'll do another video um, explaining a funnel plot and some other um, charts or plots that you should be familiar with before you go into your AKT examination. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that when other videos are out, uh, you can watch. Don't also forget to go back and watch my previous videos and get some more insights. Thank you very much for supporting this channel. Cheers, guys.